Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, line uh, CD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, ADC is uh, 60 degrees, whereas this angle uh, DBC is uh, 45 degrees. And this angle uh, CAD is being represented by X degrees. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, two units, whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, BD is one. And now our task is uh, to calculate this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, given diagram. And here we can see this angle C is our exterior angle, whereas these uh, angle A and B are uh, our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, this angle C equals to A plus B. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And this is called our 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle since its angles are uh, 30, 60 and 90 degrees. And here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle whereas this uh, 90 degrees is our uh, largest uh, angle. So therefore the side opposite to the smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg. Whereas uh, the side opposite to this uh, largest uh, angle is going to be our longest leg. And this leg is also called our hypotenuse. And in such kind of uh, special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest leg. In other words, uh, if the smallest leg is one unit, uh, then the longest leg is going to be two. And this third leg is going to be square root of uh, three. And in general, uh, if the smallest leg is uh, X units, uh, then the longest leg is going to be two times uh, X. Uh, and this third leg is going to be X uh, times uh, square root of uh, three. And finally, let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of uh, three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always 180 degrees. As you can see in this uh, triangle ABC, this angle is uh, 70 degrees, whereas this angle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, this uh, third unknown angle has got to be 50 degrees since the sum of all uh, three angles uh, equals to 180 degrees. And now let's revert our attention back to our this given uh, problem. And now let's recall once again our exterior angle uh, theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see this is our exterior angle, whereas uh, these are our two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, this uh, unknown angle has got to be 15 degrees, such that if we add uh, these two angles, this must be equal to 60 degrees. And now let's recall our straight angle property. We know that this whole angle uh, is our straight angle, and that is equal to 180 degrees. And we know this angle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, this remaining angle has got to be 120 degrees. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box. And we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular AE on this line CD. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle AED. We know this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. So therefore, we can see that this uh, triangle uh, AED is uh, 
our 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle and 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle. So therefore uh, this side uh, is uh, going to be our longest leg since this is opposite to our largest uh, angle. Whereas uh, this uh, leg is going to be our smallest leg since this is opposite to our uh, smallest uh, angle. So therefore in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle this uh, longest leg is twice the smallest uh, leg. If this leg is uh, two units uh, then this smallest leg has got to be one unit. So therefore we can see our this uh, ED length turns out to be one unit and this uh, BD length uh, is one unit uh, as well. And in this step I have connected uh, this point E and this point uh, B and we can see that this uh, side length uh, ED equal to this side length uh, BD. So therefore we can see that this uh, triangle BDE is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees and this angle is uh, 30 degrees as well in this uh, isosceles triangle since uh, this angle is 120 degrees and the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, AEB. And we can see that this uh, angle is 30 degrees and this angle is uh, 30 degrees uh, as well. So therefore we conclude that this triangle AEB is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, EB is going to be equal to this side length uh, AE. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole angle is 45 degrees whereas uh, this angle is 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, angle has got to be 15 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BEC. We can see this angle is 15 degrees and this uh, angle is 15 degrees as well. So therefore we can see that this is our isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore uh, this side length uh, EB must be equal to this side length uh, CE. And here in this uh, next step let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, AEC. We know this leg uh, AE equal to this uh, side uh, CE. And we can see this angle is our 90 degree angle. So therefore we can see that this triangle uh, AEC is our isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore uh, this angle must be congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that this angle is going to be 45 degrees and likewise uh, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this uh, angle X and we can see this angle X uh, is the sum of these two individual angles 30 degrees and uh, 45 degrees. So therefore I can uh, write down uh, angle X is going to be equal to 30 degrees plus uh, 45 degrees. And if we add the right hand side our angle X uh, turns out to be 75 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 75 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.